What's going on guys? I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, one of my secret weapons this year. I don't know if you've heard of them yet, but it's uh, called the Lazy Man Hook. It's pretty much it's a swim bait hook. That's weighted and has a sp underspin on it. It's got a nice retainer here to allow the uh, bait to go nice and straight onto the hook. But what makes this special is this is patent pending. But what makes this better than the rest of them out in the market is the position of the weight and the, the blade itself on how to attach to the weight. Where this weight is located, it allows this hook to fall completely horizontal with your bait on it. And at the same time, when it falls, the spinner spins and doesn't affect the action of the bait. It doesn't, you know, it just adds that extra flash with hardly any effort. And you can see how that, that swivel goes into the uh, weight there. That pretty much creates this uh, spinner as weedless, extremely weedless. Uh, me and a, a buddy, uh, we uh, fished a tournament, uh, I want to say back in March. And we used these all day long in the lily pads and grass. And uh, we probably had to clean these spinners off maybe once or twice the entire tournament. So that just shows you how weedless they are. Well, my favorite thing to, to rig up with these are the Cream Lures Real Screamers. There's one right here already rigged up to look at. These, uh, these Real Screamers, they're pretty much just a, a simple uh, uh, swim bait. You can get them in 3.5 inches or 5 inches. And uh, they've got nice ridges down the side of them to, uh, to uh, you could get some liquid mayhem and spread it on there. It's real good at holding on to uh, paste, you know, scent paste. And also the way these ribs, ribs are, when you hook it through the middle, there's a skinny row here. If you hook it through that skinny row, it should pop up on the skinny row on the top too. So it makes it real easy to kind of guide that hook through there as well. But... Uh, the combination of both of these have great action to them. Um, when it goes through the water, it kind of, with the spinner spinning, it kind of gives the, the lure a little wobble to it like this as it goes through the water and it looks, it looks good. And also a good thing about the location of this, this, this uh, spinner is that if a bass does come up to strike the spinner itself, man, it's going to get a full mouthful of, uh, it's going to get a mouthful of a uh, hook in it as well. So like I said, I just wanted to give y'all a little, a little video on, on these awesome hooks. Um, I think the only, the only place I get them right now is online at uh, lazymanhooks.com. And uh, they're, uh, they're out of uh, Louisiana. So, you know, me being here in Texas, uh, it doesn't take long for them to, to ship and, and come in. And uh, they uh, they only have so many sizes, um, but like I said, you go online, you can see it. I think uh, like I said, if they if they get too big of a weight, it'll probably throw it off quite a bit. But like I said, it's uh, it, it works for what it is. Like I said, these things, you know, I pretty much replace frogs with these. <laughs> They're so weedless. Like I said, you just run it over the top of lily pads and. When you get to a little hole, you just drop it, and it just falls horizontal through the hole. And man, they just come up there and smack it. So it just it, it works real good around grass as it goes through. Like I said, it just it's just completely weedless. And that's it. Go ahead and give them a shot. A shot and. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment. If you've got any questions on them, I'd like to answer them for you. And uh, check them out online.